We're going on a road trip to go visit my family who live in Reno and it's about an eight hour drive. And so I'm just gonna show you real quick what I've packed, not only for the trip, because it looks like I've eat five million tons of food, uh, but for just bringing it there so we don't have leftover fruit rotting in our house. I made these ice blocks, I know, they're a beautiful work of art. Um, I have in here some organic uh, tortillas. These are mostly for my husband. I probably won't eat any of those, but he likes to have those just in case. Last night I made some organic popcorn um, with some olive oil and sea salt. Here's my bag of fruit. I've got oranges and bananas. Uh, there are some tomatoes under there. Hopefully they're not dying under all the pressure of those bananas and oranges. Um, in here I have some almond milk. Yep. And some Pellegrino because sometimes you want to have some fancy water. This is sauerkraut. Um, we're planning on making a dish that needs that when we get there. And um, some fresh pressed apple juice back there. And a couple frozen veggie burgers because you never know when you might want to eat those. And then over here is my bag of what actually we're probably going to eat on the trip. Got an avocado, some more veggie burgers, lots of veggies. I've got some salsa in there, sweet potatoes, and my husband's made some kind of sandwich for himself. I don't know exactly what's in there. And then I also have some brown rice, some black beans. So basically, I'm prepared for Armageddon. And, <laughs> and hopefully I shall be completely uh, carved up, fueled up for the drive. So see you on the road. Okay, and we're off. Eight hours to go. Five minutes down. so much food because this is what's actually available to people. It's pure sugar and garbage and I think a lot of people actually look forward to coming here and picking out but this stuff is toxic to you. So your choices are sugar or I believe ice cream or jerky and to be honest with you, something that I really used to like is gummy bears, that kind of stuff, but I don't know if people know it, but a main ingredient in all gummy stuff is gelatin, and by the way, all of this is just horrible for you, but gelatin is normally made from pigs or animals, or beef, pig, so if you consider yourself a vegan, then you should definitely take a look if you still are eating candy because it's all bad for you and you could be eating animals without even knowing it. Um, so I'm, it's really important to pack your lunches, pack your meals beforehand. It takes maybe a half hour out of your time and you can still stay on a good healthy diet. Here's my snack. I took a scoop of this uh, Vega vegan protein powder. I'm gonna have a, a banana. And here's a shake. And obviously this looks disgusting. And it's honestly not the best when it's like this, but I'm in a car and I'm driving and I don't want to eat gummy bears for lunch. So I have chosen to plan ahead. All right, see you at the next stop. One of the little towns that we drive past and I thought it was a cute place to stop so that you can see how countrified old ghost towny towns that we pass through on our way to Reno. Um, it's cute. Uh, I don't think I want to live here ever <laughs> but it's cute. It's definitely something worth seeing. Okay so let's check it out. Actually, I've driven to Reno so many times and I've never stopped here because I'm always like, oh, I'll stop next time and 
I just want to get to Reno already, but it's actually really cute. I'm glad that we stopped. Got some little buildings, some rusty machinery. And, well, that's actually all. <laughs> little train cars. ends at grandma's attic and I lost my shoe on the train track no and the train is coming <laughs> of this town and there were seven. Um, some of them off the top of my head are going to some, I think this used to be a mining town. Well, yes, there's a thing of a miner. And so just checking out the mines, uh, checking out the saloons and basically walking. I don't really know. There's not a lot to do here. Antiques, I guess if you're into that, that's a place to be. It's just another little pee break, actually. Just had my veggie burger and some salad, salsa, and sweet potatoes. And I'm feeling ready to go. Onwards. is fading just a little bit but we have two more hours two more hours okay we can do this looks like it's gonna rain okay so we are at Walker Lake this is a beautiful spot in my opinion Let's check it out Unfortunately, as with most lakes in our world today, a lot of the water has gone down over the years. But it's still extremely be beautiful, extremely beautiful. And I actually think the colors are perfect for you guys to see right now. After eight hours of driving and it's just gorgeous. I love it up here. The air is fresh and it's a little bit cold but it's so worth it. So thanks for coming along with us and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.